Why didn't you take me someplace decent? This sandwich. Well, I'm known here. Arnie is a client. You know, your people try to nail him on a filthy kitchen rat. I remember. Besides, I always come here when I'm with the guys, and I think of you as... One of the guys? You didn't think of me as one of the guys last summer when you were helping me put suntan oil on my back. Do you remember that? Okay. Okay. Uh, where do we start? At the top. How do you people get to murder one? Okay, the husband's in hock. All he's got is a yacht, mortgage to the poop deck. The wife's had money all her life. Can't stand poverty. Insurance is her only way out. Hey, can I borrow a couple of law books? Because you've just explained that she might have, maybe even should have, done it. My books say you have to prove she did. She says the intruder came in through the porthole, and I say it's too small. And don't tell me he made two trips. This was a killing. You'd be surprised what you do when you have to. My witness list. These are all our witnesses? You have any surprises for us? I'll let you know about any changes. Your partner wouldn't do that. Frank's a gentleman. Whenever I come here with the guys, we split it. Besides, you've got an expense account to cover plea bargaining lunches. What plea bargaining? You think I'm going to let you cop to murder, too? Not a chance. I was thinking more of disorderly conduct. <laughs> okay, okay. No deal. But we bargained. I got it. Let your friend Arnie pick up the check. Eating that filthy kitchen wrap puts you right up there with Daryl. Hello, Priscilla. A near fatal error. You had the pastrami. You remembered my name from that mob scene. Priscilla Gerard, State University Comet. I talk to juries a lot. They like to have their names remembered. Yeah, I was a pastrami, Joe. Honey, you did it again. <laughs> How's it going, Greta? Good, thanks to you, Joe. Hard is hard is getting used to making change. <laughs> What's with my appeal? Chin up. Frank's on it. Sylvia's not like me. She always needed taken care of. I'm barely a year older, but I was always the big sister, the rock. And after me, she leaned on Brian, her husband. Oh, I'm just running on. But you're easy to talk to. Why did I get the funny feeling that your partner didn't want to step dinner tonight? That check, please. Joe, because he's got to win every woman, he's got to charm every jury, he's got to beat every DA. Matter of fact, we center stage about 28 hours every day. Well, why continue with Rosetti and Ryan? Because that's the name of the firm. That's what I thought. <laughs> um, will this be enough for a retainer? Or Let's uh, review the bidding. My sister's husband was found dead in their cabin aboard their boat in the marina. Now, he was naked, he was shot with his own pistol. When the police came, Sylvia was in a nightgown, she was hysterical. And there was nobody else on board. Now, what makes you say she didn't do it? Because she says she didn't do it. And she wouldn't lie to me. Besides, um, Sylvia is not capable of killing. Brian was a nasty, hot-tempered man who neglected her. But she loved me. Hi. Hi. What's the case you? going, Mr. Rossetti? What is that, Priscilla? I do several of them. Sylvia Crawford, the Marina Moon. I am the sole supporter of a mother who refuses to make her own clothing. Well, you are defending her. My mother? Sylvia Crawford. All right, come on, Priscilla. Now, on Monday, you called your newspaper the State University Rag. I just called it the Comet, and you didn't move a muscle. You didn't just wander into Arnie's delicatessen late in the afternoon looking for stringy pastrami. Okay. I guess I'm not too good at this. Well, you're terrible. Who are you? What's this all about? I am Drusilla Gerard, but I'm not on a paper. You see, this is my thesis. Major figures in the criminal bar. I thought if I got a, a really legal top groupie, like her... why didn't you say so? Look, I'm busy right now, but give me a call. Only watch out for my partner. He's disgraceful around young girls. Mm. 
I'm 20, Mr. Rossetti. Appreciate your help. Bless my buttons and braces. DJ on this cue, the girl nice. reporter. Only nobody at State University follows a murder case beyond the defendant's zodiac sign, so that's why I started checking. Yeah, well, she's not on the paper. She's writing a thesis. I think she's a pre-law student. She's not registered, and I don't think her field is law. Why not? Did you see her back and shoulders? Did you spot her cap development? No, I really think you could develop into a dirty old man. What I mean is I think she does something physical, like running, climbing, swimming, digging, something like that. I don't know. I'm still checking out. Good. Come on, let's get back to the mines. Oh, no, not you. You've got a date, remember? County jail. Oh, it's Friday. I told you to apologize. I can't apologize. My principles are on the line. You know, if you bow out now, the other guys get more chow? On the other hand, do I not have an obligation to our client? How do we get in touch with Hardcastle? His confession, Mr. Rossetti. Be back Monday. T. Jones is fantastic. Two weekends in jail for a principal. This is a story the whole world's going to watch. Oh, sure, yeah. While well, they're watching, you and Beverly will be enjoying a wonderful champagne dinner together, a nice thick Chateau Brion for two, a little sauce bernaise, kind of baked Alaska for dessert. Then you can take a nice drive up the coast afterwards. What a nice idea. If you play your cards right, you can... Oh, boy, I should have your cards. It is a far, far better thing I do than I have ever done. I'm proud to call you my partner, Joseph Rossetti. I've got to get you to yourself, Mr. Rossetti. And what's for dinner, Ortiz? Better, I tell you, ah, the word inside. <laughs> no, Frank, my hands are tied. The boat's sealed. I don't have the authority to make any exceptions. Listen, I don't want you to write anything down. I just get a guard to turn his back for 20 minutes. Hey, I'm asking you a favor. Well, what, do I owe you? For what? For uh, going to law school and reducing the competition on the force? Or maybe you saved me from a crazed killer during a liquor store shootout. And I forgot to thank you. I don't remember either of us ever firing a shot in anger. But what I do remember, Alfred, is a couple of occasions when I had to telephone your wife, Clara. You remember Clara? I tell her you were working late at night court, but actually... Hey, hey, hold it! Listen, uh, we're short-handed here, and, uh... Wednesdays and Thursdays, a two to ten shift. One guard has to cover two sectors. I never told you. Of course not. Listen, give uh, Clara my best, me. Right? Yeah. Hey, uh, give mine to Rossetti, too. How is he, anyway? Well, pressure's getting to him. But he's spending the weekend at a little place he likes to go to. Monday. There's the sky. Hello, sky. Hello, trees. I'll see you Friday, Mr. Rossetti. Bite your tongue, Ortiz. Ah. So what is this? Where is everybody? Where's the press? Where are the camera crews? Bad luck. They're covering the opening of a topless fish market down the street. Ah. And speaking of fish, Georgia is still working on our weekend fisherman, Judge Hardcastle. Still trying to get him off the case. Our only recommendation at this point is that you run against him when he comes up for re-election. When is that? Uh, 14 years. <laughs> well, I have other plans. Tell him to stay in the library and keep plugging. Oh, and one last piece of news. The kid, Priscilla Gerard, our fake newspaper reporter, disappeared without a trace. I don't understand that. Aren't you going to ask me how it was in there? Gandhi rarely spoke of his discomfort in prison. Gandhi never raped the food. <laughs> Gandhi went on hunger strikes. Gandhi was a genius. Welcome back, team. State against Sylvia Crawford. Trial date. Further motions, if any. Your Honor, I'm... Allow me. The defense moves to dismiss because state's affidavit fails to establish and so on. Prosecution objects. Affidavit shows crime committed. Reasonable grounds for believing defendant may have and so on. Motion denied. Uh, you people want to expand on this? See me Tuesday. Now we book a time.
time and place for the main event. How's for the 16th? Anybody with an anniversary? Child's birthday, reservations for Las Vegas. The 16th? Objection? Speak now or forever? And so on. Okay, and make it Department D. Judge Hardcastle. You'll just have to apologize to him first, that's all. Or find a new partner. Maybe there's an opening in Gandhi's law firm. I'll do it, Frank. For Sylvia's sake. Just give me time to let my system absorb the shock. Joe. Mm. What's happening? We're working on it, Greta. We're doing the best we can. I'm not worried. You guys promise. Keep the faith. Amen. Hello, Arnie. Oh, hi, Joe. <laughs> How you doing today? Pretty good so far. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Rossetti, you fellas gonna be in your office late tomorrow afternoon? Well, Benny, I, uh... I want to stop in and pay my bill. Benny will be there. Hi, Greta. You're late. I was down at police headquarters. Hey, where did Benny want? Oh, I just made a date with him for late tomorrow afternoon. He's coming in to pay his bill. I just told the Gopian we'd come down and identify the stuff from our office burglary. Expects to have it by late tomorrow afternoon. Uh-oh. I agree. Benny's going to have the money by late tomorrow afternoon, and the Gopian's going to have the stuff by then. Well, it sounds like Benny did the job. And now he's found a fence. Only the fence is a police plant. Yeah, only if Benny really hid our office, we still don't know why he was looking in the Crawford file. Well, we better pick up Benny before a Gopian does. That's tomorrow. But right now... Brian Crawford's yacht. You want to go check that out now? Not until 2 o'clock. Right now, you are due in court. And I am delivering you personally to Department D. Hardcastle. Mr. Rossetti? Bite the bullet. It's easy for you to say. Your Honor, I have a statement to make. Do you, Gasler? Not long ago in this courtroom, I made some remarks. I should not have made, regardless of the provocation. Um, I wish to retract any aspersion I may have cast upon the court and apologize to you personally. I regret my actions then and now. And now? And now I regret what I said then, you see. Mr. Rossetti, your apology is accepted. I'm going to rescind the jail sentence. Thank you, Your Honor. And substitute a fine of $500. What? 500 I'll... Pay it. Gladly. It's money well spent. 